Atlanta later earlier that year because my brother had gotten that car accident. Now, yeah. So I was that fucked me up. So between July 20, 29, twenty nine twenty twenty two and August fifth uh, October fifteenth twenty twenty two that's like a ninety day run. That's a ninety day. No twenty. Twenty. I, 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 uh, July. Oh yeah, of twenty. Yeah, 20, yeah, yeah, 20. yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty. Right. right. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. I, it's just I gotta talk about this. Hey, bro, you. This is what we do, man. I'm in my truck. I'm high on marijuana edibles. I'm high on marijuana edibles every day. Okay. At that point, my father's still alive, but my brother had just got injured. Earlier that year, I had came back from okay. Atlanta. Uh, and let's, let's that make... wheeled our whole family back. because everybody got so much love for him that it just fucked us all up. But the Lord was merciful. All day. So so we was able to hold on to, you know what I'm saying, some of the Lord's mercy. So we were so happy about that. Rejoiceful. But at the same time, psychologically, we were still all the way fucked up. Right, because it's it's one of those situations you Because you have to deal with reality. All day. Absolutely. So I'm at the lakefront and I'm driving past in my truck. Huh. If I'm lying, I'm dying. What you say? I, I ain't lying. I ain't lying. <laughs> I'm, I pass Bradford Beach and I'm headed up to Kenwood where so I'm making I've just passed the Bradford Beach God. so as I get past Bradford <coughs> Beach through my peripheral vision mm -hmm. now I don't know I have glaucoma yet but I already got glaucoma I just don't know it yet this is July 20. 20, July 29, 20, 2020. I already got glaucoma, okay? Unofficially. But I don't know. No, I officially got it. I mean, I just don't, don't know. Yeah, you officially, you don't know you got it, but you right. got it. And I'm it. super young, so yep. I shouldn't even have to worry about it. Facts. Right? Yeah. Did you hear what I just said? Say it again, bro. I already got glaucoma. I just don't know I got it. Glaucoma kills your peripheral vision from here. So it starts here and it closes and you get tunnel vision like this. Right. So I'm driving up the street in my truck. Everybody know how much I love my truck. That's the Jeepers Creepers truck. <laughs> Thanks. And I like the way the engine sounds. So I'm just driving ooh, slowly. All of a sudden, if I'm lying, I'm dying. I saw a pile of gold bricks. Through my peripheral vision under a tree. But it, you know, like, boom, I'm, what the fuck? a bunch of gold bricks laying back there. I saw some gold bricks, what the fuck was that? It flashed in my face like that. It said, Phew, like that. What the fuck? I just saw a pile of gold bricks. It looked like a pyramid of gold bricks. You know I was man? so convicted. I drove up to where the Snake Hill used to be. They uh, closed it down, remember? Yeah, yeah. Where the mansion at, the absolutely. lighthouse mansion yeah, up there. And I did a U-turn, I came back. And I'm looking, I'm like, what the hell was that? I remember where I saw it, it was right under that tree. So I turned around and did a full U-turn. I had to go all the way back down to, 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 to Nigger Point to get back. So I pull up, I'm looking under that tree. What the fuck did I just see? I'm looking. I don't see it. So I started looking at the water. I said, oh shit, the water's gold. I said, oh shit. The water looked like gold bricks. What the fuck? Look at that. That's crazy. So as I'm looking at the gold bricks, the, the sun is shimmering onto the water as it's coming over the horizon. That's how early it is in the morning. It's sunrise. The sun is breaking the plane. It's soul plane. Yeah, absolutely. See, that's some, that's some game I learned. Soul plane. S-O-L plane. Thanks. So it's coming up over the flat horizon. So this recorded. This is on tape two. I got a video of this. That's how confound. That's how com that's how 
what's the word I'm looking for? Convicted. convicted. Yeah. Convicted. Convicting this world. Right. I'm looking at the water and it's looking like gold brim. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I never really noticed that before. So as I'm looking, I'm going from here up there. And when I get up there, there go the sun. Now, I've always... I never really directly looked at no sun. Right. Right? Right. But when I followed this, this gold pyramid of bricks that was light on the, the waves of the water up to the sun, boom, the sun was right there. It was snowball white. It looked like a snowball. And it fucked me up. What the fuck? So I, I'm like, why are you squinting? Right? I'm looking right at it, but you know, any time that my eyes came in contact with the sun before in my life that I was conscious of, it was, you know, like yeah. this. Yeah. But no, 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 no. This morning, it was just like, and I could do, I was like this, looking at it, so looking at my eyes. I was I'm like, well, I ain't got a squint. I remember that. I don't know what, the, what the fuck? No pain, no nothing. And I'm looking right at it. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Look at the sun, right? So as I'm looking, I'm like, wait a minute. It's moving. Looking at it. I said, man, something about this crazy. I pulled my phone out. And I try to show it in my phone, but as I'm looking through the camera in my phone and then using my eyes to look, it don't look the same. So right. you can't see it on camera. So I'm looking at the camera. I'm looking at the sun without the camera. You can't see it. I got this video, if you don't believe me. Nah, he, everything. No, he got it, and he got witnesses, too. So I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? So I start, I'm recording. I'm like, man, I got to kiss this on tape. This is crazy, right? So I'm looking, and... I'm seeing the sun move. Now, I'm not able to process exactly what I'm seeing at that at that time um. because it looked like it's shimmering. But, and then it was a lot of things that I didn't understand, like some red smoke and some purple smoke and some blue smoke. It was all, it was weird. It was all type of shit going on, <laughs> right? Man, I'm not making this up. So no, I'm standing I'm there like, what the hell? I know he might think you tripping, but he ain't tripping. So I'm like, <laughs> what the hell's this? I'm recording. Now, I got a first cousin named Terrence Patterson. We call him Tunky. God. He's parked down the lake. I don't know this. At the time. This is a live Facebook video. I want people to see this. I just started going live on Facebook like, man, this shit crazy. Right. That's right. how convicted this, this first encounter was. So I'm looking and I'm, I'm telling, I'm trying to explain what's happening. I said, if you like, you put something in the bottom of a cup by like this. Later on the next day, I realized it was buffering. Right. What happens, Zach? When no, no, we'll 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 talk about it later. I want you to keep. So going. you know how when you do that circle on on the internet, when you pull it down, it got that circle that go whoop whoop whoop. Then the page refresh. Oh yeah, you got ten minutes for your people. So okay. you only make sure you get your story up. Now, buffering. It was buffering, but I didn't describe it as. But I said it's moving around like something in the bottom of a cup. But as at with closer, it got an arc on it. All right. The arc. So your closer vision. So you know how the sun, you know yeah. how the moon look like a fingernail. Yeah. When it's when like the moon man thing, that's how that thing go around outside the sun, and it go constantly, it never stops. And I'm like, dang, that's crazy. So my cousin down the lake, as I'm describing it, he must have started looking too. He jumped on the Facebook live post and said facts, right? Mm -hmm. This is my cousin on my daddy's side, first cousin Tuggy. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck me up. Make a long story faster. To make a long story shorter. I come home. I'm fucking like, I'm like, I don't know what I just saw. It was like I seen Bigfoot. Right. Somebody got an answer for this. That Why? Mean. How have I been alive for 45 years and ain't been no field trip down here to see this? This, this, this where you come for the field trip? Kids will love this. Like, look at this. You wait till it come. Look at that. Look at the gold bricks on the water. Look at that. Like this, right? So, so right away, I know something. You, I knew right away. I said somebody been lying. 
This is the Lord giving me some type of convention. Like, Joy, nobody been lying to you. Why you ain't already know about that? Everybody know about sunrises. Nobody speaks about this. I called you. I'm like, hey, I, some off. I seen some shit. So I, the next day, I came home and said, hey, y'all got to come see this to make sure I'm not crazy. Right. I took my wife and my son down there the next day. It was doing it, but it wasn't as pretty as it was the day before. But it was still on. Right. It was a black female down there. She had one of them AKA plates on the front of the car. That's hilarious. She was standing. This is how you know people blind. Okay. This is how you know people blind. Okay. She was standing right there. It's me, my wife, and this strange black female that looked like she in her mid-30s. And we all standing there staring at the sun. And my wife like, dang, I do see that. I said, you see that? Ishmael like, hell yeah, I see that. That's crazy. So we looking. So the chick she get finished looking at the sun rising, and she go to walk to her car. I was convicted. I said, I got to say something to her. I said, you see it too, huh? She said, see what? I said, the sun buffers. She said, what? I said, you were just looking at the sun, right? She said, yeah. I said, you didn't see it buffering? She said, no. I said, look, it's buffering. She was standing there looking. This is how you can be blind to things right in your face. She looked at it. I said, look around the outside. And you see how it's spinning? Soon as she looked back, this is this an Israelite female. She black. She looked. She said, oh, that's crazy. I do see that. I said, that's crazy. Yeah. And she said, that is crazy. I've never seen that before. She was staring right at it. And they didn't see it. They didn't see it. Until I pointed it out to her. And as soon as I pointed it out to her, she saw it right away. Like, whoa. And guess what she admitted? That's crazy. But then she got in her car and drove off. You know, she probably that was never over her thought. Head. That was right. Over but head. she said, damn, I do see that. That's crazy. Right? Right. Come home, Googling. Can't find nothing. Tell them what you was Googling, not. Hey, did the sun buffer? No. Oh, yeah, nothing. Nothing. What happens, nothing. To, what happens today if you put that in the algorithm? No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. No field trips. No, no, nothing. Kids would love to see this. I bet they would. So let's let's speed up the story. I was so convicted, I started staring at the sun. Oh yeah, I got one for you too. Why you talk? So I'm staring at the sun, staring at the sun, trying to figure out something. I thought I felt as if I was on to something. So I'm staring, 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 staring. Everybody like, don't do it. It's gonna mess your eyes up. I met a nigga woman downtown. She said, don't do that. That's gonna make you go blind. That's why I need glasses now. So my eyes start to give me problems, right? Okay. I go to the eye doctor. No! Remember my eye did that when I was cutting hair? Can. Something Can. with my eye bust open. Can. And I'm going to skip that part of it. But something happened to my eye. And I went and had my eye looked at. They said, yeah, something in there. Don't and it was messed up. Don't forget now. My left eye. You got glaucoma, don't know it yet. Don't know it. I already had it. And I'm going to tell you how I know that I already had glaucoma. So, something happened to my eye. I was cutting hair one day, and just imagine somebody taking a stick pin and just sticking it straight in your eye. Bow! Now, were you already gazing? I was already sun gazing by this point. Okay. But I'm doing it every day. I'm talking about I'm cooking my shit. Right. Oh, he's getting into how he discovered the glaucoma situation. I'm cooking my eyes every day. I'm going down to the lake every day, every day, every day, cooking them, cooking them. So something, I, I started to see with practice that there is a light beam that comes out the sun. And then there's like this light beam that you have too. And, and so I'm trying to make them touch like this. But my eye is not strong enough. The first time I did that, I got that on record too, but I forgot the date that I did it. And I made them touch, and it blew up in my face. And, man, it was it was a terrible experience. So I thought, I came in the house, I said, I ain't never doing that again. When I woke up from my nap, I was changed. Now, I'm not saying I'm not crazy, but this is a testimony. So I kept doing it. I'm doing it, doing it. Now, I was so afraid. I said, man, I'm going to throw up the Jay-Z sign. And I think that's what they talking about. And I did it one day in my backyard, and this big-ass... Fat ass 
beam of light went like that. It was like, it just, it, I knew. I was like, man, that's crazy. What is this? Why ain't nobody talking about this phenomenon? Right. Next thing I know, my left eye, something happened to my left eye that where I almost went blind. Literally. I caught that that jab in my eye. It, mm -hmm. Something went in my eye and it messed my junk up. So I go upstairs and I'm like, babe, she said, you think that's from sun gaze? And I, t I looked at her straight and said, babe, I don't even know. I go to the eye doctor. They give me some eye drops and it is some antibiotic eye drops with my wife's insurance. Another bill. <laughs> they 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 accepted me the same day because she had that insurance. I had to drive out to Waukesha and I went to 1111 and it was a Jewish doctor. We and me and her was the same age. She was 47 years old. Her name was Deborah Bernstein. She treated Ready, me. Drink. She didn't treat me bad. She treated me smug. As if you're stupid. You're right. a stupid nigger. Like this. Not bad though. Just like ha 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 ha. You're some dumb nigger. And I'm this highfalutin, you know what I'm saying? Doctor. We're the same age, by the way. Like, I'm yeah. real good at it. She didn't treat me bad. But she treated you though. She treated me like you're some dumb nigger. She, like that. She flexed on you in a sense. Yeah. But like, she was dressed super provocatively. Right. And I thought she was an assistant there. I didn't think she was the doctor. Yeah, she was. I saw her walking around. I'm like, damn, she got her stomach out and all these tight ass clothes. She, and she done, had a mask on. She'd have done data. So I'm looking like that. So I'm, when she came in the room, I'm like, wait a minute, this is, what are you doing? This is inappropriate dress for somebody yeah. with, with, with your credentials. Facts. So she went in my eye. And she didn't have no gloves on. And I thought that was strange. But I don't, I've never had this problem before. Yeah. And then she gave me some eye drops. And then the eye drops fixed my eye. But it was still kind of messed up. But it, it, it fixed my eye. That was my left eye. I kept sun gazing. <laughs> it didn't stop me. I kept doing it. I'm like, at that point, I had lost so many friends. My father wasn't there yet. Right. My uncle wasn't even there yet. But something had me just, like, I ain't care. I'm going to try this. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, I tried smoking, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I tried opioids, right? Hey, let me try a little sun gazing, right? How much How much can it hurt? You yeah. know, you know, eight cheeseburgers, right? Yeah. So, um, I'm sun gazing every day, every day. Knowing that this belief system that I believe in is quote unquote totally against this practice, but I'm doing it anyway. Right, you, hey, you ain't got no money, and I'm going to the store anyway. Anyway, I'm doing it anyway. Why? Because I was so convicted at the lakefront. I'm There's like, to this. dude, like, to this. what is going on? I'm like, okay, so you was on to something. My eye, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I ain't gonna stop till I'm gonna have to go blind and stop me. I'm I'm two feet in. I'm all in. I'm all over the city doing it. I'm researching online, yeah. trying to figure out. I'm looking at architecture downtown. Like man, something ain't right. So and he telling everybody he can get his hand. He man, I'm trying to get the, everybody to do it. Yeah. I'm like man, you all try it, man. You all try it, man. You know what I mean? Right. To get me. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm going in. I'm like so. Then one day I'm picking up my wife and daughter from work, and I stop on 68th and find the lad. And my eyes did this really weird. I looked up and my eyes did this really weird boom. Like I was going blind. I was like, whoa, like this, right? Yeah. And then it went away. I'm like, man, that was, it was scary. I was taking my wife and daughter to Beauty Island. Bro, I'm talking about, I, it's, I can't even describe it. It was like some of my vision left, but I could still see in spots. I'm like, uh oh, right? Mm hmm. The truth unveiled. Scary as hell. This was very scary. I'm like, oh shit. I couldn't see. Yeah. That was the first time I'm like, oh, I'm going blind. Right. Right? Yeah. Still didn't stop me. I kept doing it. Ten toes. So I'm dropping Ishmael off to pick his truck up down here on Green Bay at Mickey's. I'm high on marijuana, edibles as usual. And it happened again, but this time it was way worse. 
couldn't see nothing. I'm talking about, I'm in traffic, like, damn, am I going to make it home? I couldn't turn I could see in patches. It was weird. I'm like, uh-oh, I'm going blind. I saw mess around, mess my eyes. You done burnt them shits. So now I'm scared. So I'm cutting hair and I'm noticing that everything is, it looked like liquid. Like everything is flowing together. I can't see when I'm cutting hair. And I'm like, man, I'm mess my eyes up. So I'm going to have to recant everything that I said. So it got so bad. I said, man, I got to go to the eye doctor. So I go to the eye doctor. They like, um, Give me tests. They so this is what she said. Now I know a little bit about ophthalmology because I, you know, you're you're, you're run with it, yeah. So Journey I use on. my wife insurance again grade, to go to Wisconsin Vision, grade A, down here on Oakland Avenue, across the street from Powers, Powers Realty, yeah. down here, yeah. across the street from Benji's. Yeah. So used to be Baskin Robbins and Benji's right there. And uh, Wisconsin. So I go in there. It's an East Indian doctor in there, an optometrist. And she gives me these tests. And she said, well, your vision problems are not um, related to your eye, whatever. I don't tell her I'm sun gazing. And she said, well, you need glasses and this. And then she gave me a test and she said, you are a suspect for glaucoma. I'm not going to say you have it, but you got to go to this ophthalmologist. She said, with these glasses, these are the glasses that I got. Absolutely. She said, your vision will be returned to 2020 vision with glasses. She said, that means you have a refractive error and not a problem with the eye. Now, I didn't know at the time what she was basically saying was, your eye problem ain't from sun gazing. Because if it was, we would not be able to correct it with glasses. Right. So these glasses give me 2020 vision. I got I can read that bottle. I, I I can't read it all, but it says I can read clipper size spray. Can you read any more? I can read four hair clippers, clipper size spray, four hair clippers. Can you read any more than that? His vision way better than mine. I can read everything from the top of the let's say now 25 percent more free. Now that little paragraph in front of that. I know it's there, but I can't really read it. But Clipper, Clipper side sports, I can read that. Right, and you have what twenty twenty vision, 20, right? Right, right, right. So his vision is perfect without these, but without these, I just see blur. But with these, I can read Clipper side spray for hair clippers. You on their ass? I That's good, ain't it? <laughs> right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I, yeah. Right, right. I can see just like him with these glasses. I got 2020. That means that staring at the sun did not damage my eyes. And you know how we also know that didn't damage your eyes? Because huh. according to Ecclesiastes 11 and 7, ahead, right? they say, truly the light is sweet and a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. Now, this is all the sun. Now, let me, <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, this is what a sun is. A telephone. Facts. Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my line. That when you're not a sun gazer, see, see the radio don't play music. Absolutely. Yeah, how should I DJ? See, but y'all, that's that's above y'all head though. Yeah. See, yeah. that's above their head. <laughs> hey, I, what you say? What, what Pimp C say, man? God do these things. God do these things, man. Yeah, how should I DJ? See, that's what you didn't know. He, our, 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 on your ass, boy. Now, so I get fitted for the oh. glasses, all paid for by yours truly. Facts. I'm talking about didn't drop a dime. Right. Swipe that credit card. Oh, if you come off the street, how much of them cost you? Eight hundred. Because of Miss Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> Pick the ones you want, no matter what they cost. Put them in the bag. I pick these because I'm not no flashy guy. You know, I, I the mugs look good on right. Them. I could have got all them nigga ass frame and all that. He's right here. I like these. Even the Edomites in there was like, he's gonna get those. You don't want the Gucci's? No, I don't want that stupid ass shit on my face. <laughs> Fuck, I look like some nigga out the ghetto. Get that shit out of here. I'm we'll a ruling awesome class shit. man. Right. So my problems aren't over. I still gotta go out here to the uh, optometrist or right the ophthalmologist. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
At this time, he's still trying to figure out what's going on. Right. <laughs> he ain't out the water yet. <laughs> so I got the glasses. I can see again. But now, you gotta go see why your eye pressure so high. I'm driving to the ophthalmologist, right? It was like the Lord's... Oh! My father is dead by now. Right? Absolutely. Is yeah. he? Yeah. 22. When did I get diagnosed with glaucoma? It was in 2022. Right. Yeah. After the my summer. father. Right. Yeah. The summer 22. Yeah. So my dad is dead. He's gone by now. So I'm super depressed about that. Matter of fact, so, it was shortly after that, bro. So by the time I realized, like, damn, my eye doctor right across the street from the Cheesecake Factory or my or the last time I saw my dad. Absolutely. The address to this building is 2323 20, 20, 23 North Mayfair Road. Yeah. Well, okay, them numbers are strange. J -J Joey like that, Jake Paul. He said that at the beginning of the um, 23 video. Yeah. See, I know certain things from Sundays. Remember, I told you, your house shot a DJ, he be cutting and slicing. Oh, he said, look at this. So, he go, J -J Joey, 23, 23. I'm like, what the? Bro, on the way, I get the I get the Mayfair Road, right? Okay. Capital and Mayfair. Guess what happened to my truck? The water pump bust. Yeah. Soon as that happened, yeah. guess what I knew? They fed tell you. I don't know how I knew. I was like, you ain't getting out of this one. I done got out of a lot of hell scares. But this time, so I had. knew. You know how you just know? Yeah. I go in, get the results. They like, see this right here? That's back home. You've been having this. I've been having it? Yeah, you've been having this for a while. It's a very, very slow progressing disease. So that means I had it before I started sun gazing. Now, I don't say anything to the doctor about the sun gazing. I'm playing dumb. Because I'm smart enough to know that if it's something to this, and I tell you that this is what I'm doing, you can come back and be like, yeah, that's why. No, 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 I ain't going to tell you. I'm going to play dead. Because, see, I don't know. You could have been debriefed. That caduceus is a motherfucker. Absolutely. You could be playing dead. So I'm gonna let you run all your tests and get to the the run, whole the whole run, so you basically the conclusion said. of the matter. <laughs> I want you to get to the conclusion before I tell you anything about what I've been doing. Play me, y'all. I need you to show me your hand. I need you <laughs> to write down on here what you want me to write down here. So they running me, running me, running me, running me yeah. with my wife's. I insurance again. See, Olivia play a big part in this. Without Olivia, you're fucked. Without Olivia, you, you I'll, I'll probably You don't even know to this day. You got to like, come right, on. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so he run his test. He run all the tests. What did he come back with? I, once he, he told tell me I got glaucoma. Right. So I'm like, okay. Did you ask him anything? No, not this, not this visit. So he give me this. This medication, this is the first visit. He said, you got to come back in six months and we're going to do a complete battery of everything to see if it's progressing and getting any worse. As soon as I left that eye doctor, bro, I got, I got, <laughs> I got, I got, while I was at the eye doctor getting diagnosed for glaucoma, I was sun gazing out the window of the, eye, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the doctor's office. Cooking too. I'm talking about cooking, bro. Like, <laughs> Like this, like I don't give a fuck at this point. Lee, get to the corner. And I see my daddy for the last time right here at the Cheesecake Factory. So I get to the Renaissance, and I'm sitting at the corner, Joe's, Iguana Joe's, or whatever that across the street, Jimmy's, yeah. it's whatever. It's right here. It's right in the hotel. The sun sitting right there. I couldn't resist. Bang! And then that that rainbow popped up. You know what I'm talking about? That yeah. ooh, where you get where where it's purple on the inside. And then all the colors of the rainbow become a 360 degree. And then on the outside of the red, boom, it popped up as soon as I hit. Boom, I didn't care. I just kept sun gazing. Sun gazing every day, every day, every day. Hard. I'm talking about cooking them, cooking them, cooking them, cooking them. So I'm crying, cooking them. Everywhere I go, I'm cooking them. Go back to the doctor for the um, follow-up. For the follow-up. Cooked them all the way to the doctor. 
I remember I was on the phone with you. Yeah. Take all the tests. Your vision hasn't gotten any worse. The eye drops are working. I said, oh, that's cool. He go through all the tests. And he's like, you're so young to have glaucoma. And I said, well, what causes glaucoma? Now we starting to... Get to the meat of So now you done told him, wait a minute. I'd have been fucking... All, it's like hitting a whole bunch of bitches with no rubber and they all got AIDS. It was this how bad I was sun gazing. It was like... It was like... It was like thinking that you could have gay... Unprotected gay sex with men and not catch AIDS in Atlanta. That's how hard I was going with it. How many gays did you have sex with? Shit, all of them. And you ain't got A's? Shit, must be a miracle. Because you was hitting every nigga raw. That's, I'm, I'm saying that on purpose, too, because it's about the gays. Right. See, y'all don't know nothing about that. See, how wish I scrap. See, it's about the gays. See, you ain't know nothing about that. See, the gay. I'm talking about this kind of gay. See, that's why it's, it's because they mad about it. That's why they stole the rainbow. Because right. they like, if a nigga find this out, he gonna want to wear that rainbow shirt, and if he try to wear the rainbow shirt, everybody gonna be like, oh, you down with the gays. But see, I'm so down with the gays that I'll put that rainbow shirt on and go to a homosexual rally and stand in there with a, with a with rainbow shirt on, won't I? That's how convicted oh, yeah. I am about will, the gays. Will, will he do it? Yeah, right. He uh, a rainbow don't make you gay. A rainbow make you, you know what I mean? You can hear your house shot scratching. Awa, 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 awa. He a DJ. Now look, the gays and the gays both use the rainbow. See, that's above you niggas' head. All day. But it make perfect sense, don't it? Absolutely. See, when you good at sun gazing, that when you see the gay, that when you see the you see that rainbow, bing, you be like, ooh, what's that? Ooh. Now, to make a long story short, because I'm starting to feel good. So after he say all the tests and yeah, all the tests come back. He like, wow, your vision is doing. You're doing great. The drops are working. Drop, right. Now all we gotta do is make sure that you haven't degenerated. You haven't degenerated anything. Everything is great. I'm like, oh, you must know what I'm doing. Y'all, you know, hey, I was looking at them like, you know, you done fucked up, right? Somebody lying. Somebody lying around them motherfucker, right? <laughs> Cause you knowing. I'm you knowing what I'm doing. Doing that, you, you. I'm supposed to be back in there like this, right? Right? I'm going to be back in there like this. Yeah. He like, no, nah, man. Now, I ain't told him nothing. So, look, this is what I do to him. I said, um, I, I have a confession to make. You know, I had some mental health issues and some drug problems. And I sun gaze every day. And I was just scared that it damaged my eyes. This would what dude do. He look at me with a straight face and say, all right, well, if you if you if if you um if you if you're not if you don't feel uh confident, let's take a look. Dog hook me up to a machine. There's absolutely no damage done to your eye. Why did the fuck he tell me? This was the worst person to tell that to. So I right, is this the part where you say you done fucked up? You done fucked up. Why you fucked up, I? Cause you should have kept that to yourself. You see, you don't know what I've been doing. I've been nigga twelve o'clock in the summertime when it's ninety degrees outside with no shades on. Bang it up, <laughs> wiping the tears away like who, who, who. Then I started learning tricks. Boy, I got some tricks. Cause see, when you listen to music, see the same thing make you laugh, make you cry. See, he saw you, he know about that. And our, you, how was I be like, you listen? I'm like, yeah, he like, our, 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 I'm like, for real? <laughs> yep, getting cold, boy, getting cold. Now, I, right, once again, we let me speed them up. You already had the stigma of what the sun's supposed to do when you're looking at it. So you looking at my eyes is even got bad now. This doctor of all people that, that should know firsthand about sun gazing, what the eyes will do, because he's mm -hmm. an eye specialist. Yep. That man told you I zero. the sun gazing has zero effect on what the what the condition well, of your eyes. He didn't, he didn't, I don't think he was putting two and two together. He wasn't, because you lined him up. He didn't say it that way. I lined him up. Lined him he up. said it, there's no damage done to your eyes. That's all you need, that's all you need to hear. Right. 
Because you already know what you're doing and the fear of why your eyes... He's looking like ain't nobody doing all that. You got to think. He ain't thinking, no, this nigga dead serious about this shit. He probably looking at it like, well, let me just... Um, they might not have debriefed him. <laughs> he just answered a dumbass question and without even realizing I was setting him up for that question. Your best bet would have been to tell me, hey, man, you don't need to be doing that because I do see a little... Oh, that's all he had to tell me. I never did it again. Now, guess what? I, all he had to say was it that could that was, could make a difference. You know what? I can kind of see that now. There is there is a little, you know, so you've been doing what? Sun gazing. Yeah, you might want to stop. Nope. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> you said, oh, you're great. Now, how my haircuts look? Impeccable. Look at mine. Now, now check this out. Sun gazing every day for four years. Banging them shits out. Banging them out. No shades on, 12 o'clock. I be mean, on 12 o'clock every time I play these bikes. How about that? And the devil is alive. Big guns, big whips. Yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. See, somebody done lied to us. Facts. Now I said, he been doing it for 27 summers. That's hella, that's hella. See, rap music yep. is not what you think it is. That's I want to show something, too. Yep. See this right here? God, I'm just checking the time. See this right here? This is the Da Vinci Code right here. Now, the Lord hasn't revealed to 21. me what the Mona Lisa yeah. means. But trust me, if he decide one day to reveal to me what the Mona Lisa means, I'll let y'all know he ain't told me yet. God. Come, come. But this is what I do. Now, to all my Israelite brethren, <laughs> yes, it hurts when you first start because you're a virgin. Virginized. Now, that's why in the movie um, The Matrix, when Neo woke up, he asked Morpheus, why my eyes hurt? He said, you ain't never used them before. Once you start using them, just like you lifting weights, all that pain will go away and you'll get buffed. That's why they call Cartier's buffs. God. They making fun of us. Can you imagine the strangeness of their salvation being as simple as when all the races of people died on the planet and the eyes were dissected? They said, look at what this one has that this one don't have. God. Well, We'll just tell them not to look at the sun. And if we don't do it in front of them and we don't do it, they won't practice it. Yeah. Come and it's just that easy. One lie. That's it. One lie. You can ask a 75 year old black man what color is the sun. His goofy ass will be standing there like, hmm? Absolutely. Well, I ain't ever looked. You right. live 75 years and the Lord done put this super bright light right there and you never looked. Facts. Right, because you never saw the Soul Plane. They made a movie making fun of us about this. Soul Plane is a, a, a blatant lie. Right, because Soul Plane means you never want a nigga to ride on Soul Plane. What's the Soul Plane? Well, if 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 one of these niggas mess around and see the S O L, which is the sun in Spanish. Remember, Spanish means masonry. It yeah. doesn't mean. A hey, buenos dias, senor. Yeah, they call that Spanish. Buenos. But real Spanish is your span of masonry. Yeah. Span. How much Spanish do you know? Well, how much masonry do you know? Well, soul plane, S-O-L, is soul is the sun in Spanish. Yeah. Soul is the sun in masonry and Spanish because when if, if the wrong Negro... Sees the the, the 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 soul plain. Mm -hmm. That's how I that's how I got on. It was plain. It just came up above the horizon, Thanks. and the earth is flat, so it's a plain. Soul plain. I ride the soul plain. The soul plain is purple, right? It was candy purple. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when you get good enough at sun gazing to fine tune your skill. You'll be able to pop this subwoofer looking thing up. It, it all it, I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what it looked like. Come on. And you gotta remember, I too. I done got I done got a lot better at doing this, bro. Come on. 
Sit tight with us, man. We're getting ready to close it out. The elder is going to show you part of his demonstration, his thoroughness of being able to connect with that son and, and, and the benefits of it. Even the Bible, for those who are sung anti uh, or, or speak against sun gazing, Ecclesiastes 11 and 7 told you, man, it's pleasant for the eyes to sun gaze the sun. We can't well, make that up. This, this is the philosophy that I live by on judgment day. Con. If the Lord tell me I was a wicked nigga for sun gazing, I'm going to be like, I, I'm not going to talk crazy. I'm be like, dang, I'm going to be thinking. If he allow me to think, like, dang, we could look at the phone, but we couldn't look at the sun. No, I, that ain't what you're going to say. That's what you're going to say. What? If balling is a sin. I'm going straight to hell as balling is a sin. That's what he meant. <laughs> I'm going straight to hell as the balling is. If, if staring at the sun is a sin, I'm going straight to hell. Okay. Okay. But I, according to Ecclesiastes 11 and 7, bro, it ain't no transgression, man, to connect with that son. Right. Bro. You dig? Give me a split second. No, nah, take your time. The elder is actually going to the lab, show you guys. Uh, the Lord the done peeled of off that feeling on me. Cool. I'm feeling all sick and stuff. So I don't know if it's going to come back later on. But for right now, I'm going to speak on this one. A absolutely, man. That's a testimony of how the power of spirit, Yahweh was shot, the way he works. See, it, see, nothing that never happened on our time is always going to be on his time. As soon as this go off, I might mess around and be right back jacked up. Right. But, but I what? got this off. That's cool, though, because even if you could t have two minutes of relief, that's two minutes you didn't have two before. Two minutes I didn't have before. Yeah, so it's always to the gizzard. And again, y'all, uh, you know, your, your body, when you're 40-plus years old and you're black, Learn to appreciate your body. Listen to your body. Be more conscious of what you're putting in your body. And not only that, um, your body is just not a physical vessel. It's also a mental vessel. So even though your physical might be okay, now you got to make sure your mental is straight. So you're going to always be off balance. It's very rare that you hit hitting all four cylinders when your mental and your physical is all in unison of precise ailment free yeah does it happen yes it does but it's a small window when it does you might end up going two days straight you might go two weeks straight you might go two months straight you might even go two years straight where all cylinders is clicking mentally and, mentally and physically but one day you're gonna wake up and you're going to have some shit on your hands, whether it's physical torment or if it's mental torment or it, or if it's psychological yep. torment. It is coming. Amos 5 and 19 told you it's coming. You can't get, hey, you could run, but you can't hide. If it was Michelle Obama's belt buckle during that inauguration. Yep, that was what, 2019, wasn't yep. it? No, no, that was 20, yeah, 2020. Because COVID had came in eight, or 2019, one of them. Let me see. I might, I might can pull that up for you, Bradge. Um, so, yeah, Barry Woodis, the elder, uh, is in the lab working on something. Let me see. I might have something for you, my brother. This is how I look. Right. When you get good at sun gazing and you know how to hit the perfect angle and you as you sun gaze, you know how to hit the perfect angle, this is what you'll see. It'll pop up, but it, it don't stay long. But but the more I practice, I done got decent. I don't know how good I am because I don't have nothing to um to base it on. But I can pull this up right here when I sun gaze. I can make this come up. Come on. Yep. Sure can. And when you make it come up, that beam of white, that, that white beam of light that you have in your eye, you stick it through this hole right here. Bing, like that. Right. Right. When I first pulled it up, it blew my mind. I said, whoa, look at that. But my eyes had to be real strong. But in the morning, you can pull it up, too. It's just you got to, you got to, like, close one eye and kind of just yeah. roll like this. Kind of roll across the top 
and then at some point you'll start seeing it develop that you got to kind of so it's not easy to find but sometimes as soon as i look up there bang it'll hit me right in the face i believe that's like more like a gift that right. you didn't have to really work for you know like you're begging like you know you'd be begging the lord for some action right and then he throw you a bone right yeah but yeah man that's just a tech this is what i've done i done told you exactly what's going on and i can see pretty good like even like with my glasses i don't like to wear them because they progressive so when i'm reading clothes i really don't need them you know what i'm saying like my vision doesn't change until about to about right there so this far away from my face i can use the bottom part of the progressive and then maybe two inches up i don't need them and then I oh I never could see far. That was the 2020 vid. That was a 2020 omen. Con. I got it, bro. I'm finna show it to you. Yeah. It got you, my nigga. You can show them if you want to. Give me a second. We getting ready to close it out, y'all. Uh, got this. Pull this up for the L door. <clears throat> Sorry. Is that the belt buckle? Yeah. That was the that was the inauguration. This is an ape in heels. See, see that, see that purple. She got she got that purple suit on with that gold belt buckle with the two eyes like Caesar in the yeah. window on yeah. uh on, on Planet of the Apes. Yeah. That's why they called her ape in heels. Right. Con. Bro, Con. <laughs> being an Israelite got powers here. Absolutely. You don't gotta die to get no to get no action. Facts. Now you ain't gonna get no money. So if you're looking for money, this ain't for you. Right. This spiritual. Right. But if you want to hear the Lord, do that play, thing. Play. If you want to hear the Lord, be a DJ. Yeah. That's sun gazing, dude. Because bro, I don't hear music the way you hear music. God. I hear the encryption inside the music because the Lord made the music notes. Absolutely. We were shut off from that. God. And was used as they synthesized us. Yeah. All praises to Yahweh Hashem. Oh yeah, and this right here. Every time you see them do this, if you don't know what it means, you they're gonna say, Oh, that's satanic. A hand signal can't be satanic. Absolutely. You know D1 just got popped for that. This? Yep. <clears throat> Hassan Camel was trying to say it's the Baphomet. How you know? is this the Baphomet? I'm just doing like this. Yeah. So you gotta be very careful. All this. How does make me Satan? If I'm living a righteous lifestyle and I do like this, I'm you, Satan. You all to the good. Y'all got to start using your head, man. All These man. are ancient symbols that they use in your face and they flip it around because they turn you into a Christian. Facts. All praises to you. How about this? A delta, too, by the way, in Greece. God, God, God. And then they call it a triangle. See that? They going off, bro. And so if you go like this, you Satan. Yeah. But if you go like this, Hey, no problem. No problem. No problem. So, so let me get me straight. If I'm doing this, I'm good. But if I do like this, You're I'm fucked. Satan. You're fucked. Y'all better start using your head, man. Yeah. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukwakadah, Shalom to all the Akwa and Aki out there. Shalom. Hey, bro, 